Lupe Fiasco, Samurai album. Let's get right into it. Track number one, Samurai. Turn that up. Ooh. Like that beat. I actually heard this. I saw the video already. See who on the beat. Kush Baby soundtrack. I'm so glad Lupe Fiasco and soundtrack started working again. It seemed like they didn't work with each other for so long. But in the past few years, Lupe soundtrack, Lupe soundtrack, I love that. And I'm really about to raw dog this Lupe album. Pause. I'm not even reading the lyrics. I'm using the noggin for this. Ooh. Gorgeous. Okay, yeah. Big eyes looking like skies and binoculars. Two nights live singing by the opera house, but not in it. Just by it. Someone alongside it. A long silence. A strong, vibrant, meditative song of guidance designed to raise islands of blind and save the silence. So it's not like he's describing like a singer in an opera house. I know this album is about to, it's supposed to be about amy winehouse if she was a battle rapper or something like that but just this this verse or so far it's not like he's just describing a sing a singer in the opera house and her surroundings warm regards and age kindness for today's climate in the vein the gang violence meets the gang's demise is in it bangs rises like wings on a plane plus a pilot who can fly into the eye hurricane iris stylish same shoe in different sizes with evidences of the mileage and the growth top hats and coats tuxedos and throats where the bow ties post folks look past the lower class blower of the notes and tell unspoke jokes as they approach what she'll never be inside but she knows that's for you I got days. Size land of the soon to be fans of the samurai. Smile wide, got the panorama camera vibe. If you analyze, she's a one woman gala. Glamorize, just without the glamour or the gala ties. Man, I'm more alive with the jazz guys eating piano pies at the vanguard. She's an artist and star. A couple dollars in the band job as a half a turkey, Sam, organic and his hand carved and ours. If you ask for a piece, freshly laugh for singing jazz in the streets, and the staff asked for police. Oh. Crashed at a friend's flat for a week. Felt his home as a raft on the beach. Lit a fag, took a drag, took a tea. Read a book, took a bath, went to He said lit a f a f rhymes with mag. But again, in the UK, they call like cigarettes mags with, with an F. Amy Winehouse was British. So it sounds like he's describing this. I I just heard his word of mouth. I, I didn't confirm if this album is about Amy Winehouse, if she was a battle rapper. I didn't confirm that. But it sounds like he's describing it. He's using the proper verbiage, you know? Ladies, really need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very beautifully, very beautifully. Mm -hmm. uh, a little battle raps for you. That's gorgeous right there. Okay. Yeah. Said a samurai, samurai. Uh-huh. Said a samurai. Uh. Okay. So now I'm wondering why is this album called Samurai? Where does Amy Winehouse battle rap and samurai? Where do those what's the connection? Now again, I'm raw dogging this. Or I'm not looking at lyrics. Maybe I should, but let I'll just keep going. I never look at lyrics for rap for rap music really when I listen to it for the first time. Usually I can catch most things, but Lupe is just the lyricism is just so advanced. It's like any anybody reacting to this album pretending like they got 
certain references, all the references, the first listen is lying. Like they either listen to it before or they watch someone break it down or they read Genius. Track number two, Mumble Rap. Ooh. Soundtrack on the beat. Soundtrack on the beat. Uh, waking up with a song on the hall uh, to make it clear. I think that we should take it to the star. Walk past an old man laying in the park. He was talking to himself, but he was saying something sharp. She found herself drawn to the vibe of his remarks. The resonations called her like blood to a shark. But as she got closer, she felt something dark. Knew she made a mistake, but before she could depart, he reached up and grabbed her, sent the post off the chart. Said, Everything you do will not be in another art. Then vanished like Superman abandoning the planet. But this was similar to finding land in the Atlantic on hmm. the low. Cause she didn't really know. She didn't really know. And what she gonna know? What she gonna do? And everyone she knows. Loving these melodies. I was gonna say like I can't really understand what he's saying, <laughs> but the song is called Mumbo Rap, so. The definition of possession, the state of being completely under the influence of an idea or emotion. Broken open to let the ghost in and go 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 with extra low end. Now let's return to the scene. Surreal and sent to chilling, kind of burned at the scene. Hmm. It seemed that real life had really turned to a dream. But what exactly has she learned from the lane? That's from Earth. Or maybe from not. Maybe she just received a curse. Or maybe the plot. Maybe there's something like a birth. Or maybe a dot. Or maybe not a baby at all. As that falls into realms of being intimate. But this feels more significant than that even. And that evening, she really felt a difference in. In fact, speaking had definitely changed in this design. Because every time she went to chat, her mouth began a rhyme now. I got what you got hmm. and he's on his own way. So I guess is this is her becoming a battle rapper. This is the becoming. Everything's a verse, and everything's a line. A lyrical non stop onslaught arrives. Hmm. A hardcore roughneck bomb drop divine. Sound that is found when the tom tops combine with the bass and the snare and the kick. They fill you with a feeling that just make you wanna spit. Wrap a couple bars, move your arms like this. Your hand is a gun, and your arm is a clip. Let yeah. Rip yeah. Get hit by the split second Smith and Wesson. Yeah, the hand is a gun, your arm is a clip, because you know, battle rappers, they always got the gun bars, and I flip you like. Nah, that's my commie. My, but you know what they say in, in battle rap. We've all seen it. Like hollow tips, please tell the best on your list that is death with a kiss. And they gotta swallow fire if they trying to follow this with a style similar to round around looking for when a rest to resist. Ain't no rest for the wit, no recess for the gift. It's like I don't do it for the check or the chip. I protect and predict what the next going to flip. I address and I rip, get respect and I dip. I yeah. don't live in the past, I finesse and forget. Yeah, yeah. Don't make me resurrect up in this. Finish. <laughs> okay so that seems like that's the becoming she's becoming a battle rapper just from the lyrics i kind of got that vibe but for and I, I hate using that word vibe but uh from the ending for sure like yo she killed you she killed your mans it sounded like it was her first time battle rapping and it just came super naturally to her let's go to track number three kate Cake, 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 shout Kush Baby soundtrack on the beat. 500 million, I gotta ice skate. I've won many things I've done, but this 
this one here. This one takes the cake. Where did I? Where have I heard that bar? Accomplishments of my accomplishments. It might have been Lupe. Either I think Lupe has spat that exact bar before. I just can't remember where I heard it. Compliments on my accomplishments are only possible due to your involvement, volume level, and confidence. The consequences stimulating your consciousness, activating the cognitive structures. I think all you motherfuckers and opposites still play a vital role in my conquering the combination of confrontation and bars. Occupation is bars. Stimulating the conference with conversation, no astonishment, consuming the comments, and then vomiting up the vinegar. See, a lot, of, a lot of rappers get it confused. They think fast rapping like that is just going to impress you. It doesn't impress me. It impresses me when you actually saying something. When all them big words and everything you just said and, you know, spit out like word vomit, it, it impresses me when it actually makes sense. And that made sense. Every word fit. Okay, just Jame dropping Biggie, who's Christopher Wallace, Janis Joplin. And I'm liking the melodies on these hooks too. I'm liking the melody. Yeah, I was, I was about to break it down. He's, <laughs> I was gonna say like, uh, he's saying one thing is hot and his and his rhymes is cold like December, but he just broke it down right here. Might do it to him dentally. He'll chew through you, might do it to him dentally. It's such a word. Twister almost fucked up just saying it. He do it Lou will, Lou will do a dual identity, dueling enemies. I, I gotta do this right quick. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. It's facts. It's bars. Mm. Loving those drums. Gotta do it again. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. And the beats are so great. You know, this is why we were all so happy that Lupe and Soundtrack got back together. I don't know. It seemed like Soundtrack wasn't producing a lot of Lupe albums for a while. And I, I know the Lupe fans, like myself, supporters like myself, 
because again, I don't like to call myself a fan. I'm not a fan it's fanatic or anything. I just like the music. So I want to I want to hear Lupe and I want to hear soundtrack because that's what we got on Food and Liquor, Lupe's first album. That's what we got on Lupe's second album, The Cool. Don't depart from that. <laughs> don't depart from that. Keep it going, man. Anyways, track number four, Palaces. Soundtrack, Nicholas Isaiah, True Main Jordan. On the beat. Let's get it. Mm. This kind of sound like a, a Drake type beat. Yo, these hooks is magnificent. Lord, please bless my castle of sand. Waiting on the battle, so I handle all in my hand. The war force is more so with my door with demands. More important than the fortune that you poured in my pan. From freestyling the recording advance. Can you please reinforce all my borders and bands? I should have put it towards some plants. Wanna forest gotta water some plants. Huh. Mm -hmm. Normally ignoring the branch is part for the course, but when you hold a culture, you can't. Can't park or over a part. You gotta march forth over your art and for your fans. When you corner, gotta show. I'm trying to. Did I miss a march forth double entendre right there? Parkour. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you can't? Can't park or over a part. You gotta march forth over your art and for your fans. When you corner, gotta show on your stands. Less than your tails, Philly shell. Don't orbit a dance. You I gotta hear that again. I never heard a rapper use the Philly shell. In a rap verse, y'all know what the Philly shell is. If you ever seen Floyd Mayweather fight, you know the Philly shell, you know the, you know, using this as like a defense and then keeping this, you know, and keeping this one for attack. It's like a defensive, it's like the Mayweather. They made it super famous. You gotta march forth over your art and for your fans. When you corner, gotta shorten your stands. Less than your tails, Philly shell, don't orbit a dance. Yeah, when you corner, you gotta shorten your stance, Philly shell. So if you ever seen Mayweather fight and he's like on the ropes, like he'll be on the ropes and he'll have his opponent in front of him. So he's cornered. He can't go back. He can't go to either side. That's when he really gets in that Philly shell and he really, and then dude is swinging on him and he can't get him. Like Floyd is just doing this type of shit and just kind of like bouncing everything off his shoulder. Philly shell. You hit a bell and report to the band and do whatever. That's all I say. You listen to Lupe Fiasco, you gonna learn some facts if you want to. Don't orbit a dance. You hit a bell, then report to the band and do whatever that the chorus commands and for the grand. My mansion of cards. If ever challenge, let us camp in the car. Hmm. Or hang a hammock from a branch in the park. A planet made of uninhabited parts. Uh, being anonymous don't grant you some dark. Even astronomers keep a camera on Mars. Satellites attract where you are and see your black as like I gotta hear that again. I gotta hear that again. Branch in the park. A planet made of uninhabited parts. Uh, being anonymous don't grant you some dark. Even astronomers keep a camera on Mars. Uh. Satellites attract where you are and see your black as night attack it with sparks. Hmm. Fireworks are not a match for a star and fire hurts, burns, blackens, and scars. Damn. Can still emerge, learn, attractive, and charred from out the ashes of galactic barrage. Yeah, it gets savage where they traffic mirage. It ain't no magic day in back of his secret hatches and frauds. Hmm. You gotta take it back to the start. You gotta tap it. God, bro, is anybody, yo. The rhyme scheme, bro. The rhyme the scheme. The heart. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's that gas. 
past that gas. Please bless my palace of bones. My soul call my skeleton home. It's on the phone. Hello. Get a receiver back to Tyrone. We made a pack, nigga. I'm going back home. Right. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't think Lupe cursed this entire album yet, but then he just said nigga right there. Pack my bag, stagger back to the zone. With a bag full of daggers I've thrown. I'm like my own master kiss, slash my wrist with a poem. And when I'm gone, don't tamper with a sample my songs unless you're strong. Hmm. Bicep emojis in the so when I'm, chef, five He said, when I'm gone. Don't sample my shit unless you got bars like me, <laughs> unless you really that type. Dude, don't sample my shit. Leave it alone. Leave it be. Don't tamper with a sample my songs unless you strong. Hmm. Bicep emojis in the group chat. Five sets of burpees. Don't disturb me if the booth black. I'm going through it. Got a bunch of baggage on my roof rack. I have a lot of habits that produce that. They gon' put their tag on it. My condolences to the fast moments. Hope the solar system assists my slower mission and put some lag on it. Window to my soap here in inside. The crib where my spirit resides. Lyrics are die. Coefficient, no admission. If you ain't knocking like me with the underground bar burying the toast. Dodging a raid like Roach. I've like sometimes Lupe will do rhymes or like flows that I've heard before. That it's not like he's done that. It's not like he just ripped that flow from that song that he done, which is um Lupe the Killer. It's just the rhyme reminded me of that. Uh, speak easy like prohibition, no admission. It reminded me of that. Anyways, this is great so far. This is this is awesome. Uh, let's go track number five. Number one headband. Brian I. Or L Brown, Kush Baby, and Soundtrack on the beat. This is why we love Soundtrack, bro. Oh, what does that mean? Very musical. Very musical. Yo, anytime a rapper got an uncredited vocalist singing on the track she's always fire we never know who she is but it says right here background vocals leger and love more so we got some credits thank the title ah turn letters to rhetoric turning feathers to fetish just dispersing treasure like turkeys in the ghetto gather around you receptors come and look inside of these walls like metal detectors if they could talk mm -hmm. they could probably say it's saw them it's just my thoughts goes off even if it's off but never come yeah how sway how yay trial they know exactly just what i'll say when they ask whatever i'll say no idea can you approach the bench with no ikea to build your case mm. feeling safe but still escape or chill in place around a bunch of sinners like some of the bars Lupe be saying, it it leads me to believe that he's he be freestyling a lot of this stuff, which is insane to think when you think about how many like complexities are within Lupe's rhymes. It's crazy to think that he's freestyling it, but like just the train of thought that he has with the bars, like like the trial, the trial to bench, like bench trial. I mean, this is a thing in the courtroom. From trial to bench to Ikea, build the case. Like, it just seems like he's just freestyling to me, which is insane. Who feeling great, or run a bunch of niggas who innovate, take real estate, gentrify different sides like Gemini's, energize like the Starship Enterprise. I'm gonna be the one that you. Hmm. 
I'ma be the one. Yeah, numero uno, Yoko Zuna and Sumo. To try to run in my shoes, gotta throw your boomers to Pluto. Harati and those Harachis, only Sukas get that judo. High for your soul, go with so far, it's so Laura Solo. It's no show with anti and social. Turn Gary to Gold Coast, move Gold Coast from Soldier to Toll Rose, a Toll Bro. I'm number one, put the go in the. Were those Studio Ghibli bars? I don't know. Let me know. Go Hunter, go win the Voltron. I'm the number one. Definitely some anime bars, but were those Studio Ghibli specifically? I don't know. The headband wearer, walking like I talk it, never faucet like Farrah. Headphones on the train, head banging to the stairs. Faucet like Farrah. I'm in your range, let it wang like Farrah. For everyone, stereo feel like steroids to carry heavy shit. The wang like Vera, I got that bar. The faucet like Farrah, I didn't get that bar. I'll put it in your range, let it wang like Farrah. For everyone, stereo feel like steroids to carry heavy shit to pick up what you could barely lift. Now you Larry Wills, done to bring it back to the flesh. Just flip it over, put it back in the deck. I'm going to be a boy. Yeah, I'm going to be a boy. Yeah. Stop fire. That's not fire. Okay, so this this is just gonna be fire to the very end, ain't it? Um, track number six, only eight tracks, so we're kind of near the end. Bigfoot. But but but. Y'all keep the melodies coming. I know I just missed so many bars right there, but I can kind of understand the picture he's painting. There's a performance. There's really no one there. There's like one row of people. He's like, maybe they'll come in later, but then they don't. Like, okay, I guess this is all of them. But certain bars, it's just going over my head. Awesome, but it's better not to get lost inside in the song talking or outer song thoughts that I have or second guessing actions up on stage in case they laugh. These are the times that I wish I had a mask like I'm daft hmm. waiting on my break with no signatures on daft my punk. cast 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 hmm. So he's embarrassed that you know no one's there at the performance Is it a safe space to make made solid once or in installments? Is it a base rate to value their involvement? Is it evolving? Is there a standard to differentiate between the offerings? Or am I just church steps to an offering and I take whatever they toss and I'll be more like Andre Dawson when they obfuscate the losses, gloss over the cautions, overlook the awful and emphasize the gains and they underplay the pain. Bars. But I never signed up to be Sheesh. a lawyer. I just came to spread the joy when you sang, 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 sang. But that'd be the same thing that'd destroy you if you don't look over like a voyeur with extra OCD and paranoia. Look over like a voyeur. A piece for hearts to rest, a rest in peace to heart. Hmm. And normally these things that you would keep inside your head, but you realize you were singing this instead.
another encore, on towards entourage, on tour, war show, wardrobe, war for more attention, mortal toro of the Taurus, taunting forces to enormous force, single portrait to successfully record it. Nah, 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 nah. Oh way. Oh way. And for the encore, on towards, on to Raj, on tour, a war show, wardrobe, war for more attention, model, toro of the Taurus, taunting forces to enormous for a single portrait to successfully record it. Da, da, da. We could be more supportive, da, da, da. Hmm. If I speak, don't think it's chorus, da, da, da. Hmm. So that's probably, I want to say it's the first song that's going over my head in terms of bars. But um, that one seemed a little more difficult than the others. I'm just now noticing they spelled Lupe's name wrong in the credits. It says Lupe Fisaco. Fiasco, not Fisaco. Anyways, we're coming towards the end. Track number seven, Outside. Yeah, Outside. Bass guitar. We hear you on that bass guitar. Post battle love, daps and hugs, raps can plug up holes and less than holistic souls. Dove off a nudge and throwed off from shoves. However, one guy from above to below. Or kicking and screaming and drugs to the show. Will you entertain not from robbing nodding hand plots? John Tilly hip hopping, hunting, bloody slam drops, some diction and calculation. Put up your share of the tontine. Plus a thousand allowance payments, I'll be patient. Cal be tasting like your money in my pocket. Mixed with chocolate, chips and chopped up chicken and delicious droplets of mouth sauce. That's a wild cost to risk over an opinion. I'll give you a little privacy to mull over your decision. Uh -huh. Wait for me outside. To moral over your decision. Chocolates, morals. Am I reaching? It's really never a reach with Lupe. Uh -huh. Them drums is crazy. Judging quality like Australian airport souvenir shops can be a weird up to undertake. A younger cake would avoid it altogether. Like a winter home, escaping fall of weather, but bought a sweater. My business bone is connected to my ethics. In a series of daisy chain preferences that I filter things through, just like a checklist. Mm. And a much wiser bride pie with spouses on the top, such as I now happily apply these metrics to the set list on the surface separates but in the back of my mind they go together like a necklace it's like the whack of the rhyme the more i'm drawn like a text avery baby to think maybe the genius in it is that it's not really good maybe it could be would he have only suggested x and y and z and various other advice to him from me to animate the chains to the level of mr t and i get his gangster boo like memphis tennessee <laughs> rp gangster boo I'm loving the chords. Is is anybody else loving the chords except me? Still got two minutes. What you about to do, Lou? He acting like the song over. We still got like two minutes. <clears throat> I didn't forget about you. That yeah. conversation just went longer than I expected. Erecting all kinds of structure. I like the long pause and then he comes back in and be like, yo, I didn't forget about you. Like if I didn't know how long the song was, you would think that would be the ending. But then he comes back in. Just to flesh it. Sometimes we send mixed messages like dyslexic texts and get socially indebted via manners to carry on long after what's needed got completed. We're trying to leave, gets competed and repeated until your point is clear or you're joining spears. Sometimes it happens when you're rambling about how your raps is better than theirs. Hmm. Wait for me outside. <sighs>
Okay. Okay. What can I say, man? We had the last track till eternity. Soundtrack. Lupe, let's go. See? Yeah. <laughs> That's just a half of it, you know what I'm saying? That's just part of the game and the game and the game, you know? It's what you gotta do, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh. Yeah, live in the flesh. Beehive survived in a wreck. I carry knives like samurais on a quest that I drive in the chest like it's a ride in the treasure. He lost the game and cried in his checkers. Lost his name and now signs with an X. Hmm. I just want to commit crimes in Tibet. Turn and say something divine and then climb in a jet. Contrived but correct, besides and direct. During those, I tell lies to the left and meditate on the upsides of a yes. P.S. I destroyed everything you tried to protect. Eight o'clock means it's left behind. Like Beat feels very like hard, forceful. Still gentle and lush because the piano and chords, but it's like very like, I want to say abrasive, but like more in your face than the others. You died on the trek. Push these pies in the necks and try to swallow dry what you tried to reflect. All of that pride, thumb slide to refresh. Yes, 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 yes. What if we were dancers? Yeah. And we didn't have any answers, no. Yes, yes, yes. But life gave us things. You know, it really take much see. to do what needs to be done. We could be on the songs need to be sung. You and me. Rivers need to be swum, swam, swam, all that. Uh, yeah. Justice brushes go hard in the paint. So we two don't bend like arms and restraints. Hmm. I want to learn how to farm, don't but I can't it. and cannot. I'd rather move to another planet. I, I try and pin grace like Ken Shamrock, but it spits in my face like basic. Oh, man, that's that's fucking that cool. bars. Fucking bars fucking you know A lot of niggas good. not going to get that bar. I'm trying to pin grace like Ken Shamrock. First, what is he saying? I'm trying to find grace. I'm trying to find grace and hold on to it. Grace, peace. But what's the bar? I'm trying to pin Grace. I literally just watched this fight for the first time like a couple weeks ago. Ken Shamrock versus uh, Hoist Gracie. Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. We all know Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Hoist Gracie is like one of the guys who popularized it. Ken Shamrock trying to pin Grace. It was a UFC fight. Like pin Grace like Ken Shamrock. This is crazy, man. Mouth roll. Mouth roll. Grace like Ken Shamrock. Crazy. Grace spits in my face like basically a mouth roll. Mouth hole in a household. One thing's thoroughly couched like a slouch goal. Yeah. From which they say he lazily blew horns like Lapalus Lassily on a cow skull. But when things got stunning, he hit the ground running like outsoles. Now how about mm. those outros? And those apocalyptic visions. Bowls of rice with chopsticks in them vertically sitting. Thomas over the door with the frying pan of war. Jerry very perturbed like you gotta be kidding. Me, what I already knew the words for the songs of the birds, and we can understand when they tweet, tweet, we can hear what they see, you and me, yeah, see eternity, you who has the black classic mama, dad was the black man, so yama. Karate stands with your hands on the Brahma. Do not cook. I remember the boiling pot from which the rock took. Mm. And you can either put it down or shot put. Oh. Or the ground like an ox foot before the charges. You could either put it down or shot put. I've never heard somebody describe drug dealing like that. I've never heard that described like that. Classic mama. Dad was the black man, so yama. Karate stands, put hands on the Brahma. Do not cook. I remember the boiling pot from which the rock took. Hmm. You can either put it down a shot put. That's why I scraped the ground like an ox foot before the charges. I was Bill of Rights and Ted Talks meet the Taj before it all started. But you can't harvest before the hardship. Might scrape the ground like Mike's shoes. Back it up. You might have to hover before the high school, just like I do. Yes, we will go far, smelling like sage smoke, even with those wild stallions way behind our stagecoach. It will behoove you 
To ask your doctor who's why salute to the game that you used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we were dancers? That's a little thing, man. And we didn't have any answers, no. But life gave us things that we could see. Yeah. We could be in you and me. Mm. Wow. And a beautiful outro, piano outro, sound like Chili Gonzalez. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah. So that was uh, Lupe Fiasco, Samurai. This is why we try to tell people. When people ask me my top five rappers of all time, I usually go Jay-Z. I usually go Tupac. I usually go Kendrick. Maybe Nas in there, but I always throw Lupe in there. Now, if you're somebody who don't really listen to hip-hop like that, or you're an old dude, and you don't, you know, you really kind of chimed out of hip-hop since the 2010s or whatever, you're not going to understand. Like, whenever I tell an older dude, like, yo, Lupe is in my top five, they be like, Oh, the skateboarder, the skateboard rapper. You y'all don't know ball. They don't know hoops. You don't know hoops. That's why you just think skateboarding. This is an awesome album. Samurai, awesome. And it's a great length pause. Eight songs, 30 minutes. It's not any longer than what it needs to be. It's right where it needs to be. He said what he needed to say. He got his shit off. It's over. That's that's perfectly fine for me. I, I might have to go buy this album physical copy to support. And y'all know I love you watch my channel. I love hand drawn artwork and stuff like that. Man, this is um. I don't understand how this connects with the Amy Winehouse thing. All of the album, I kind of heard like it in the first two three songs. But I, it kind of lost me along the way, that theme. I don't know if that's the actual theme of the album. That's just what I heard the album was about. Um, again, I raw dog this album. Excuse me. I raw dog this album, meaning I didn't listen while reading lyrics. So I'm really trying to catch each word by Lupe while also falling in love with the soundtrack production. You know, another thing, when I tell people my favorite producer of all time, it's a name that nobody says. People ask me, who's your favorite producer of all time? Ski, Ski Beats. So it's a name nobody says. He did the most tracks of any producer on Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt. He did the Camp Low, Uptown Saturday Night. He did the Currency Pilot Talk, one through three. Soundtrack is also in my top five favorite producers of all time. I've just never heard a soundtrack beat that I don't like. And I would... Lupe is one of my, again, he's one of my favorite rappers of all time. I and he has me blocked on Twitter, but that's fine. And but and I like Lupe's music, right? But I would rather only hear Lupe rap over soundtrack beats. Or a better way to say that is I would only I would prefer is a better way, right? I would prefer that Lupe's albums have at least one at least preferably majority of the album but at least one album one song on the album produced by soundtrack they just work so well together and as you can tell all these beats were great man it's, it's just again the albums i really like i really don't have much to say usually it be the stuff that's mid and the stuff that's just horrible like the tierra whack album where i just have i could just go in on it but the albums I really like, bro, like, I just want to listen to this again in my own time where I don't, I'm not expected to, you know, break shit down and all this type of shit. But the albums I really like, I really don't have much to say about it. And that goes for this one, too. This is probably my favorite rap album I've heard this year. I still have some albums to listen to. Blue just dropped an album with Evidence. Um, Marsha Ambrosius, the singer, just dropped an album with Dre. I still got to listen to the Anderson Pack No Worries joint with Knowledge. And then I'm currently listening to the Ryan Leslie new album. This is my favorite rap album I've heard uh, this year. So, yeah. That's all I got for y'all. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Top5RapWebsite.com. Peace.